Close to the end of the season and Deuce is becoming a household name. Recent deals with Gatorade and Kia are making Deuce look like the face of the league at this point. Just thinking of where he came from to this point was looking like a fairy tale. Who would have thought that the most hated will become the most loved? Not only that, but he was looking like one of the best in the league with his performance and to be a rookie, drafted solo, to the fans were saying the Utah Jazz actually might have a diamond in the rough. But we all know the end goal was to win a ring and Deuce was all about talking his shit. And sometimes that would get him in trouble. At this moment, he was doing an interview at the radio station and Deuce started to run his mouth as usual and was letting the people know he was coming for the title no matter who stood in his way. Dummy had the audacity to call out LeBron, Steph, and anybody in the West that wanted smoke. He said he was all for it. Not only that, but he doubled down on those statements at a magazine shoot stating that Utah was the best team in the West no matter the record and they plan on sweeping the playoffs, no losses. I don't know about that chat but my boy on the court was looking different let's just hope he didn't say too much too fast but outside of that the team was headed to charlotte to play the hornets and deuce was hit up by j cole to come through to the studio you know catch a vibe chop it up or whatnot the visit was dope you know j cole tried to get deuce over in charlotte you know what i mean but really j cole gave him some game about puma and possibly joining the team there but deuce had already made up in his mind what shoe company he was going for and don't worry chat <laughs> it's not puma or reebok or none of that this time all right we in the oh ladies okay Little Orlando Magic things. How y'all doing? Wait, y'all look like the same girlfriend? You know what? Dwight Howard, he <laughs> he's a prime example why you should not mess with them ladies. Let me go see what the coach wants. What up, bums? What up, what up, coach? MP, we got one heck of a matchup tonight. Yeah, I know. And I can't wait to get out there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, too. Well, I've been working on the whiteboard for the last couple hours. And trying to figure out how to slow them down. All right, all right. Let me see what you got here. Pretty much you just need to outplay them. I need you to set the tone for the whole team. They're gonna be taking their cues from you, and I'm really counting on you to get the upper hand in all aspects of the game. Well, you know that won't be easy, man. You're talking about one of the best players in this league. Better than you? <laughs> no, not at all. That's what I wanna hear. Listen, I don't know why the coach be looking at me like that. Like, I don't be doing work. You feel me? I don't know why coach, boy, what in the big suit is you got going? <laughs> I don't know why coach be looking at me like I don't be doing work. Let me switch over into my, you feel me like come on chat yes sir you see the bright lights mm-hmm boy it's stinking here how y'all doing <laughs> well ain't no fans come to see orlando play what is going on what in the poverty ball boy ball thank you appreciate you being out let me get uh, damn can y'all get out the way the lane just as crowded in, in warm-ups as it is in the real game found my swirl though let me see that you know what i mean Chad, I gotta get my arms loose. Hold on. One, two, three. Damn, why you weak? Get off. Chat, it's about that time. You feel me? About that time to turn up one time. So let me turn up one time and sing it for the one time. <laughs> Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, Lord. Chat, let me get into this gameplay. As you can see, it's already four to four. Hold on, going baseline, because you know that's my friend. But I had to play Orlando simply because my boy Paulo here. And, you know, I just had to see what they're going to do. And trust me, that boy Paulo definitely did what he had to do. Left that man at the three-point line, shoes and everything, chat. <laughs> it is what it is. We're going to fast forward to the second. And, I mean, obviously, you see what it is, a blowout, right? It had to be that. I mean, I don't know what else you expected right here. Got Paulo in the post. He wasn't ready. Greening that, and you love to see it, but look at Paulo coming right back on the other end. Dang. Hey. Hey, my boy, hold on. You cannot be doing my team like that. I refuse to go for it. You feel me? But Paulo got him one off. I'm not bad at it. Hopefully, these boys don't lose this game because that's going to be wild, right? It's going to be a wasted highlight, but I had to show it to you because I'm not that type of guy, bro. I'm not no sore loser. Left that man at the three and look at the team takeover chat. I'm, I used to be a guy that didn't enjoy team takeover, but now I'm messing with it, especially with my teammate grade kind of, you know, eh, I got a lot of turnovers and I can't really do things like this without my takeover. So I, 
I'm enjoying Team Takeover. You guys let me know if you have 2K23, how y'all feel about this year's Team Takeover right here. Got that man in the earth. Uh, and you know I'm attacking the rim. And I really don't have to. It's 76. Never mind. Make it slow. I don't even have bully badge. 78 to 57. We jump all the way to the fourth right now. And it's just going to be more of the same. My boy was going off. And look at my boy here. Boy, if you don't. And wasn't nothing even wrong with him, chat. The boy just tired, bro. And the coach knew wasn't that wrong with him. He's like, get up, fool. And God. Hey. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hold on. The boys is cooking. It's quiet out here in Orlando, boy. Real quiet. Throw it up to Rudy. Yay! I know that how I, that's how I know Hall of Fame be wild. Rudy Gay couldn't get up like that, even if you helped him get up. You heard me? 94. Never mind. Make it 96 to 68. This Orlando team is mentally defeated. They're done. Look at the Euro little juice man action for you guys. That's juice man thing, bro. When he pulled that out, I like. It's crazy, bro. Especially when he do it on humans and not computers. You love to see it. Look at the boy getting some extra work out in on the rim. And of course, we end up winning this game. Destroyed Orlando like I knew we would. 43 of them things for them boys. Nine assists. Who said I'll be playmaking? Hall of Fame verification on your screen. Right back at it, game two. I had to come see the young gun, LaMelo Ball, and his team in Charlotte. Yeah, that's right. It's his team. Chat. I don't know if y'all done peeped that or not, but yes, this is that young man's team. And I had to come out here because we actually made a trade with this team in game. We actually got Gordon Hayward back in Utah from Charlotte. Look at the Euro. Like, ooh, the Euro is dumb effective this year, especially the way that the defense plays attached to you this year. And as you can see, this is the polar opposite of what we did to Orlando, bruh. Now we the now we're Orlando in this scenario right here. And look at look at the fakeness. If y'all don't get y'all big asses up, we ain't got boy, well, we not stopping the game. You might well get up, fool. <laughs> like what? But speaking of not stopping the game, we gotta get back into this game. 66 to 72. We're down six. And y'all already know what I gotta do. <laughs> Cause they giving a ninja spy. Baby, listen, I wasn't down there messing with no other bitches. I swear to God. Bang. Okay. <laughs> I see you, my boy. And now it is really crunch time. Time is running down in the third. We about tired of seeing that layup. And oh, Lord. Broken down, but look at the hater. It's always got to be one hater in the room. Messed up my whole clip. But at this point, I'm going for the dub, right? 73 to 74. Never mind. Make it 75 to 74. Deuce throwing it down. Got the Gatorade cup next to his name and everything. We blinking red. It doesn't matter. Over two people. I'm putting on the show for Michael Jordan right now. And speaking of Michael Jordan, make sure you guys check out my Jordan challenges over on the channel. I will be dropping one of those videos tomorrow as well. So stay tuned to the channel, man. I got some more coming for you guys. I know you guys are already uninvested in the Deuce content but trust me the next player i got coming up we get back on that gta you feel me oh throwing it down we get back on the gta intros we getting back into all of that so once i finish this do series it'll be back to the normal creativity what you guys like to see right here tying the game up the boy deuce is exhausted and we're gonna need everything to stay close enough and hopefully win this game a team takeover right now would be amazing but we need this bucket right here. 29 seconds left. They double team like idiots, and Vanderbilt does what he needs to do, and that is score. We have a one-point lead, and, of course, y'all should know how the rest goes. Late game, fouling. It is what it is, and we end up winning the game. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. Hall of Fame verification is coming on your screen right now, puppy. But if you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more NBA 2K23 content just like this. And I got you guys, but until the next one, man, peace. Eight boards and get three assists with no player lock? Come on, dog. Listen, chat, I'm not going to get frustrated about it because one of the savages told me in the comments that I can't go back and play the games and just complete that one goal. So you do not have to complete all three goals in one game. So I am not stressing, but.